Since the Second World War, the development of guided missiles has revolutionized warfare, shifting the battlefield from trenches and foxholes to vast distances measured in hundreds, even thousands of kilometers. The Russia-Ukraine conflict stands as a stark testament to this evolution, with both sides leveraging a wide array of guided missile technologies in their fight for strategic advantage. These weapons, capable of delivering devastating payloads with pinpoint accuracy, have become a defining feature of modern warfare, shaping the course of conflicts and raising profound ethical concerns. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine provides a grim window into the destructive power and strategic significance of guided missiles. From the initial salvos of ballistic missiles targeting key infrastructure to the sustained use of cruise missiles against military and civilian targets, the conflict has underscored the pivotal role of these weapons in modern warfare. This analysis delves into the different types of guided missiles employed in the conflict, their strategic implications, and the broader ethical considerations surrounding their use. Guided missiles, unlike unguided rockets, incorporate sophisticated guidance systems to navigate toward their intended targets, offering enhanced accuracy and lethality. Broadly categorized into ballistic, cruise, and anti-aircraft systems, each type possesses unique characteristics and serves distinct tactical and strategic purposes. Ballistic missiles like Russia's Iskander-M follow a ballistic trajectory after an initial powered phase, reaching high speeds and altitudes before descending towards their targets. Their speed and trajectory make them difficult to intercept, making them ideal for striking stationary targets like military bases, infrastructure, and command centers. Cruise missiles, exemplified by the US-supplied Tomahawk and Russia's Kaliber, are self-propelled guided missiles that maintain a relatively constant altitude throughout their flight, often employing terrain-following technology to evade enemy radar. Their extended range and precision make them suitable for engaging both stationary and mobile targets. Anti-aircraft missile systems, such as Russia's S-400 and Ukraine's S-300, are designed to intercept and destroy enemy aircraft and missiles. These systems are crucial for establishing air superiority and protecting critical assets from aerial attacks. They typically employ a combination of radar, tracking systems, and high-speed missiles to engage and neutralize airborne threats. The Russian military has employed a diverse arsenal of guided missiles in Ukraine, including ballistic missiles like the Iskander-M and KH-101, and cruise missiles such as the Kaliber. These weapons have been used to target a wide range of Ukrainian assets, including military infrastructure, command and control centers, and critical infrastructure like power grids and communication networks. Russia's missile campaign appears aimed at crippling Ukraine's ability to wage war effectively and demoralizing the Ukrainian population. Ukraine, while possessing a more limited missile arsenal compared to Russia, has effectively utilized its available resources. Ukrainian forces have deployed domestically produced ballistic missiles like the Tochka U and anti-tank guided missiles like the Javelin and NLAW, supplied by Western partners. Ukrainian forces have effectively used these weapons to target Russian armored columns, artillery positions, and logistical hubs, significantly impeding the Russian advance and inflicting heavy losses. Section 4. The Human Cost of Missile Warfare, Civilian Impacts, and Ethical Concerns In this segment, we delve into the profound effects that military conflicts have on civilian populations, highlighting the ethical dilemmas they pose. As we move forward, let's explore the role of artificial intelligence and autonomous systems in modern warfare. These technologies, while revolutionary, also raise significant moral and strategic questions about the future of combat. Finally, we discuss the critical need for restraint and the implementation of ethical considerations in warfare. It's essential to consider not only the effectiveness of military strategies, but also the long-term implications they have on global stability and human rights.